Hi there, this is Smart Penguins, and we're here to help you with your game making adventures. Thank you for everyone that's writing in the comments to us, we really appreciate that. And thank you for all the requests for tutorials, it gives us a clearer picture of how we can help. We'll make this video based on a request that we got for a tutorial of using the timeline in a scene for animating. Let's dive into it. For demonstrations we will use isometric platformer template. Our animation editor box has a play button, a record button, an array of all the frames that we have, a toggle for loop if we want to loop our animation, and we can expand for more options where we can change the amount of frames, and we have our animation graph here. Before we start animating your object, let's talk about how you need to set up your object and what you need to know. If you're using physics in your object, make sure it's set to kinematic. If you set it to static, your collisions won't move with your animation. If you set it to dynamic, there'll be some weird things going on and you don't want to go there. So make sure physics is set to kinematic. If you're using move, scale, rotation nodes, or position animation, scale animation, or rotation animations nodes in your object, the object that will be animated in the scene will not be affected by those nodes. So let's start our animating our object. Select the object you want to animate, click on the record button, let's select our first frame and move the object to our first position. Go to frame 20 and let's move position of our object where we want to see it at frame 20. Stop recording and now we can go to first frame and press play and we can see our animation play. Let's select solar mode for this scene and let's play it. And you can see that our object animates to the side. Now let's create our loop. Let's decrease our frames to 40 and let's go to our last frame, turn on record and now let's move our object position to the, our start position. Turn off record and let's turn on loop and if we play it now we can see our object is looping now. Let's go into play mode and here's our animation. You can also do the same thing with rotation and scale. Let's do a quick rotation and scale animation. Stop our record, press play. Now if we play, we can see our animation in our scene. You can use the graph nodes, if you want to remove any animated points, you can select it and click backspace to remove it. You can change the position of the point, and you can use these handles to change tangent of your point. And that's how you use animation in scene. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions write in the comments below, and have fun with your game making adventures. Thank you for your support.